Hey, Rex Todd here. I'm back again with another starting lineup video. I haven't done one in a bit. I've got a lot of people reaching out to me and they want me to do another one. Starting lineup is one of my passions. Everyone knows I've been doing some traveling videos and some uh, just some other cool videos. So I want you to do is go on at Rex Todd, hit the subscribe button. It'll help me out. Uh, I'm just doing it for fun, but today I'm going to talk about graded, not graded, and I'm going to talk about condition mainly. Now look at this. I'm going to do it with my 88 Jordans. At first glance, you see a picture of, of Jordan like this on eBay. Hey, he wants 100 bucks. Okay, cool. I'll bid, bid, bid. But then when you get it, you look at it, there it is. Got a crease right there. Well, that's going to lower the value. This corner right there is a little rough. It's got a crease. All these corners look good. Look at the card real good. Centered. Card looks pretty good. People are grading the cards. But look at it real good. Look at the back. Look at the corners. There's another issue right there. Then you got a big crease right here and a dent. I got this one from someone, it's not from my original ones. I have about seven of these. This one here in this condition, still a pretty nice piece, it's got issues, but I'm gonna put this at about $60 because of the creases. It's not quite yellow or anything like that. So I'm gonna give this one about a $60 value. The next one here, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. You notice a little bit of a curve. It's got a ding right there. It's got another crease right there. You see that crease by the NBA. Look at the card real good. The card looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell on the corners. It's got a little rough on the edge. Not bad. And then there's another crease right there. This one again. And then it's got something right there. I don't even know what that is. But it's not, it's not perfect by any means. So when you... See these on eBay, it's all about condition. Now, if you just want a Jordan and get a Jordan, get a Jordan and you're going to open it, who cares? Uh, if you just want it for the card, most likely if they're selling them on eBay cheap and they're beat up, I'm sure the card's going to beat up. They've already seen it, but there's a crease there. This one here, I'm going to give it about a $50 piece because of the condition. They're not $100 pieces. They can be. They can be. Um, this one's a little nicer. It's got a little bit of a crease there. All the corners on this one are pretty good. The plastic's good. It's not yellow. It's still got the sticker from the slam dunk giveaway. The card is pretty centered. It's a little bit 60, 40 to the left. If you notice, this one's got a ding in the corner on the card. It looks like if you look real close. This corner is good. This one here is a pretty nice looking piece. If you see it on eBay, it would look pretty nice. It does have a little bit of an issue with the, the card itself. But I would say this one has got a little bit of a scratch in the back. But if you're real meticulous about it, this one here again is going to be about a $60 piece because of the condition. So I'm going to pull out another one. This one here... Looks pretty good. I'm looking at the card, the centering on it. Same thing, about 55, 45. No yellow. It's got a little bit of a ding right there. Now, I'm being real meticulous because that's how it is. You got a little bit of shaving right there with the, uh, the label. Other than that, this one looks pretty good. I'm going to grade this one a little bit higher, maybe... Price-wise, it's got a little bit of a snag there. The back looks pretty clean. It's got a little bit of an issue there. Again, this piece, probably nicer than the other three. I'd probably say it's about a $70 piece, maybe a $75 piece. Still a pretty nice piece. And then this one here is, um, it's got some kind of bending there. It's a little bit. It's got that Kenner curve a little bit there. 
the card itself looks pretty centered the card itself looks pretty good this corner's got a little bit of a crease right there you can see it barely no yellowing the biggest issue is this which is not that big of a deal but everything makes a difference i mean it'll make it there's a crease in the back you're talking about this piece probably about a 75 dollars piece but if these were in cherry or mint condition, they could be as high as 250 bucks. Some even more. If you get a cherry, cherry one, you're going to pay 350 for it probably. If you get a mint, mint one. I have yet to see a mint, mint one because everybody opened these. Nobody, nobody didn't open these. I mean, this is Michael Jordan. Everybody opened these. They're drying up. There's still a lot on eBay. They're all different prices. You're talking about $65 to 250 but these are some of the things you're going to look for here's some of my other jordans you're going to look for like yellowing you see i got that yellow label it's not yellow here but it's yellow there this one i didn't pull these out that one's got a crease there but those are the things you're going to look for but anytime you can find an 88 jordan if it was beat up and you could, and the card looked pretty decent, and you could pick it up for forty bucks. You'd probably be doing okay. But the big thing on these, like I said, the Jordans are drying up. The eighty eights are conditioned. A lot of people like this slam dunk sticker they had. Uh, I think of these are the earlier releases. I don't think they're any more valuable. Maybe they are a little bit. Some people like them. But these are all clean pieces. Anywhere from 60 to 75 because of the small issues they got. But if they were cherry mint, they would be more. But I just wanted to go over what you want to look for when you're, when you're um, looking at pieces. You look at the back. It's got a little stain right there. It's got another little bit of a stain right there. This is for the stickler, stickler guy. If you're just a collector and you like them and you don't care, hey, great. Get them. No, no sweat. Good, good. Just get it and, and you're happy. But if you're a stickler and you want cherry, cherry mint or whatever, you're going to pay for it. When you see a guy's go, well, this one had it for 50 bucks. Well, yeah, it had issues, you know. So if you can, you can are starting lineup, guys, go to my page, hit the subscribe button. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing it for fun. I'm not trying to make a bunch of money. I've got some uh, really generous sponsors that are sponsoring me on some of my trips and uh, some of my videos. I've got some really great sponsors, so I'm not doing it for the monetarily. I'm just doing it for the fun of it. And that's the key to the starting lineups. It's just for fun. So um, that's it. I just wanted to give you a, another quick video on the starting lineups. And I tell everybody this, happy hunting.